Good afternoon. So we will have a presentation today with regards to the new feature of RAPI that allows the application to recognize the uh, person using the application or in short we will be showing to you a demonstration of the facial recognition feature of RAPI application. Our facial recognition is powered by AWS recognition which actually utilizes artificial intelligence and performs analysis of the facial data of the user and then performs an algorithmic comparison whether the person is exactly the one on the record or not. So it performs a machine learning approach to be able to recognize and match the person with the, the user using the RAPI application. Now to get started, we have developed a prototype. We call it uh, the RAPI ID just for this demonstration purpose. But before we will do the actual presentation, I will first give a basic understanding of the information that is stored in AWS recognition server. So we will try to communicate with the AWS recognition to see what are the data currently stored. So first, let's check if we already have a facial collection. The facial collection is that is where we store all the facial data information of the user. So first, let's check what kind of collection do we have. So right now, we don't have any collection. As you can see, the collection ID is empty. It's an empty array. So first thing that we need to do is we will try to register <coughs> a collection where we can store facial information of the user. In this case, uh, our prototype application is actually expecting the uh, a collection ID to be a ROPI. So we will try to do that. So what we're doing here now is we are trying to register a collection to store the facial analysis map, facial data of the user. Okay, so we have successfully registered. Now let's try to verify that by trying to list down. So as you can see here, we have now a new collection called the RAPI ID. Uh, the, the ID of the collection is RAPI. Now we are ready to store information in our collection. Well, first thing is, let's try to take a look at inside the collection to see if we already have any registered uh, facial information. So we can verify that. So as you can see, our faces data uh, don't have any data stored yet. It's empty. So now let's try to use our prototype application to actually perform registration as well as verification using our um, prototype. So I will be using a live phone. So I'm just basically uh, connecting my phone into my machine so that actually I can share how the live phone will look like uh, on screen. So I launched the app, the application. So as you can see here, I'm having my, our RAPI authentication application. So it actually tries to uh, recognize the face, but uh, basically let's try to perform first a 
facial analysis or facial verification. But as you can see in our um, data, we don't have any face registered yet. But let's try to do that just to verify. So I perform a verification. Okay, so it's processing now. As you can see, it shows no match. The reason for that is because we don't have any registered face at the moment. So let's try to proceed and try to register our face so that we can see how it works. Okay, so let's do the facial registration. Okay, so it's a two steps process. First, it tries to analyze whether there is already an existing facial data that is registered with the corresponding user that is using with the phone. If there is none, then it will proceed with the registration. But if there is already an existing user, the system will actually prompt and recognize that you have already been registered. So let's try to verify. Okay, so I have successfully registered. As you can see, I'm, uh, I'm having a hash code or an external image ID ending in A79E. Uh, okay, so first thing, let's try to verify that in our list. Make sure that we have successfully registered a face. Okay. So as you can see here, our face has been successfully registered matching with the hash also in the application. Now, this is very interesting. To keep the privacy of the user, we don't actually store any photo or any kind of images into the AWS server. So what we are actually storing are actually facial map facial information of the user rather than the actual image captured by the application. So that, that, that provides a privacy and security uh, for uh, all the registered Rappi user. Okay, so we have verified that we have actually registered uh, our face data into AWS. Now let's try to perform a facial analysis or facial verification. So let's do that. So this is something like a simulation that I'm trying to log in to Rappi using my facial ID. Okay, so let's perform. So it's processing now. Okay, so it basically recognized me and it will show you the information on screen. It will show you the confidence level. What is the confidence that this is exactly the same person that is registered with AWS. At the same time, there is also the similarity. Now, there, there's a difference between confidence and similarity is uh, sometimes you can take a uh, picture of yourself in different angles. It could be sometimes that you have probably, you're probably smiling or maybe on a sad face. So, the, there's a certain level of similarity depending on facial expression and facial recognition uh, data. But it will just actually still can recognize based on certain percentage that you are actually exactly the same person whether you're smiling or not, or maybe you're sad or not. That's why it can, maybe the similarity may be a, li a little bit lower, like maybe 99 point, right now it's 99.99 because I'm using the same angle when I am doing the verification. But the application or the artificial intelligence can recognize that you are actually 100% the same. Okay, now take note, similarity is 99.99. .99. Now it will change, the value will change depending on the angle of how you take picture. So take for example, and. I'm making a different angle, this one on the on the, the other side of the face. Okay, so I'll do the verification. Okay, now one thing you will notice is because there's a different angle, different position of the face, it shows you a much lower, although it's still high, but it shows 99.97 similarity 
which is much a little bit lower than earlier which is 99.99 but still according to the artificial intelligence engine of the AWS recognition it's still a perfect match that's why the confidence level is 100 okay and it provides you the same external ID so if you look at the external ID that I registered earlier that's A79E it recognizes me that I am exactly the same person okay now let's try to go back now um, <clears throat> we also use this particular facial recognition engine to recognize if the user has already registered before so for example I will try to perform another registration okay so if you will notice it's performing an analysis and it will tell me that sorry but you have already registered before and this is your external image id so that means what this means is there is no uh, person that can register twice using the same facial data no so it the system can actually recognize uh directly that okay you have an existing registration and it will show you that this is your data before okay so that's how and the more the more um, <clears throat> frequently how you perform the verification using the uh, uh, the engine it actually try to perform deep learning so what this means is the more you perform uh, facial recognition login or authorization the more it, it knows about you so it, it knows about your facial data it learns from your facial data the more like if you have a mustache or maybe you are smiling or you have a bird it still can recognize you because it learns from the different angles from different perspective of your face and it can basically recognize the same person so it's a very powerful feature and uh, we will be integrating this uh, prototype into our Rappi application this will be uh, additional security layer, uh, additional way of verification, and we are very excited to uh, soon we will be including this in our official Rappi application so that uh, user can actually utilize and, and take advantage of this very special feature. Okay, so thank you very much for watching the presentation.